November 7th, 2017, Sonic Forces was released. Sonic Forces was received pretty mixed, at least by critical review, it's probably one of the better selling games, but according to fans, it's really not one of the greatest games of all time. And in fact, that was my, on my own personal opinion, I, I don't really find this game really all that amazing. Story-wise, it's probably the one of the worst games I've seen, but I'm not gonna get into the story. The story is for another time. I'm here to just talk about like the levels in the game, uh, gameplay. Gameplay wise, it controls pretty well, I guess. It's there's no glitches or bugs, surprisingly, which is good, I get which is a good thing since like you know there hasn't really been I haven't really come across many bugs or glitches actually. I think there's maybe like only one occasion, but even then it was less of a glitch and more of just like a missed time of movement or something. But there are three playable characters in Sonic Forces to get a strip to get to the strip point. There is Modern Sonic, who plays as usual from since games of um, since Unleashed Colors and Generations, keeping the boost gameplay, and you know, maybe and also returning the double jump. But the double jump doesn't really feel as amazing as you know it was in Colors. But that's besides the point. Then you have Classic Sonic, who plays lights, who mostly plays like his original self from Generations and. Mania, but the problem is Classic Sonic is just much more slower than initially in those in either of those two games, which is disappointing. And then you have your, uh, a new character, your avatar. When it comes to level design, the level design is pretty bare bones, to be very honest. Um, levels can either be too quick or too slow or sluggish. Sluggish mostly for Classic Sonic, but for uh, your avatar and for Modern Sonic, it's pretty just... It's just mostly pretty basic level that you could just run through pretty straightforward with and that's it modern sonic probably has like the set i believe from when it comes to level design um modern sonic has the most basic and easiest to go through classic sonic is mostly just is slightly more of a risk because his gameplay is much more um the word to describe it is i guess heavy and weighted like very weight uh dependent gameplay your avatar probably i would say has the best gameplay despite not being not having the, the incentive to go fast or speed up at any moment of time or trying to build momentum like you're mostly just but it, they probably have the best gameplay in stages to go through to be honest so I, that's all i can really say about that well uh let's get into this then Modern Sonic plays the uh, most usual as he has in previous games, at least excluding Lost World, but I've never played Lost World, so I can't say anything about that. But um, I, I have played Generations, Colors, and Unleashed, as I've said. So I've seen how he plays, I play, and I've experienced how he plays. He plays pretty similarly. He does have his double jump and you know his boost is back. Although the boost in this game is much more easy and actually more overpowered than either of the previous games like you could just jump and press whatever the button the boost button is for your console or such and fly over the entire stage or i may be exaggerating but that's what it feels like you could just jump over a majority of what a certain area has because you have a boost gouge that does deplete obviously when you use it but if you save it up for a, spe a specific point of time in the level or you could just keep using it and the spawn more boost um lists you can just keep going and going by pressing x and there's you know nothing else to it the previous games do have that too but there's more risk or weight to it like you could jump and boost but you'll you know you won't really move that much you'll actually be more slower or you know boosting at all could just be a potential danger threat to you uh completing the level or you know getting past a certain area because boosting you know is meant to push you forward and make you faster and that's what this game has but there's no risk to it there's no risk and reward it is only it's just having your cake and eating it there's no one or the other and 
in some cases if this were a different game or something that'd be fine but in this game it with how this game's levels are for modern sonic especially they're basically like it's it's just saying hey you want to get put through this any faster even though you don't really need to why don't you just get a boost and boom and they throw them all over the level i'm not joking i'm not even kidding as soon as you start the first level they put them there and that's different which is fine because that's the you know that's basically your tutorials of that character so of course you know you're gonna get that at first but then as you get to different levels it's all the time there's one specific level where all you need to do as soon as you start run into those things run into the wisps and then you can just press x and i say that for playing on xbox but uh, again whichever boost button it is you could press that button and rush through the level and each time you get to a certain stop you don't even need to stop because you might as well just get run you might as well almost run through the boost anyway and for levels i'd say he's probably like the most basic and straightforward classic sonic is i cannot understand why classic sonic feels so bad in this game I, I, like i'm not the only person to say this and i will never be the only person to say this but classic sonic plays so slow and so weighted like it's like having ball chains tied around your ankles every jump and move you take like trying to get momentum within this game is so difficult for him because the drop dash doesn't is like i have used the drop dash which is the only useful thing you could really get from him to even remotely get speed because trying to spin dash is basically pointless and a majority of the time you'll slow down from out of nowhere just because the game says so and i i, I can't i can't he has you know 2d platforming and all that like once again that that's really it classic sonic's just i'm sorry i, I can't i can't talk real about him because he's really not that great I won't lie when I say the Avatar has the best gameplay. My favorite character to play as, considering the fact that, you know, they're not meant for speed. They're more so just meant for actual combat compared to Sonic and Classic Sonic. I, I think the best part about it is the fact that, like, you can change your the way you play, or at least, like, the way you get around through levels. Like, your Wispin is, you, like, certain levels will require certain Wispins to unlock certain paths to, like, lightning wispin will give you basically some basically like the light speed dash but you know which you'll use the power up or you could use the wispin like in my gameplay right here which is the asteroid which basically which just allows you to um it immediately targets onto enemies in for around you or up in front of your face i guess and you know using a power up it basically makes a ring around you that you could just rush through enemies as long as there's still a gouge into it it's pretty cool uh, as you get more ranks and stuff you do unlock more types of wispins which is pretty cool there's more there's variety into how you like get through the levels and that's pretty cool it's one of my favorite features about the avatar aside from customization um levels i guess by design are probably the better ones because they're not as slug they're not as slow or fast um, they feel more well paced, at least in my opinion. This is these are all my honest thoughts, my um, unscripted thoughts, I guess. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, but I personally enjoy these levels the most because you get more creative freedom with how you get around rather than just being told to go one way or the other. A majority of it, like you can do, you can go through alternate paths um, that actually feel like alternate paths, at least compared to the other. Um, Two characters to play as um i think if you were to if we were to ever use this um uh, type of gameplay again uh I i'd be open with it because it's not that bad but it, it is obviously still lacking but in comparison it actually does better i think it's it's probably the better one it's obviously the better one and um yeah that's all i can really say it, it's the best one out of all of them let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back!